Hey everybody, we are the Fat Shells. I'm Keith. I'm Shania. I'm Kamal and I'm 13 years old. I'm Kayla and I'm 12 years old. And this is PJ. And this is Thor. Do you have to go up to the camera? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just wanted to introduce ourselves and show you what we need help with. So come on in. We're going to show you our rooms that need organizing. Okay, so this is our family room slash game room because slash play games. In this here. is this is the gamer here slash laundry room slash Girl Scout cookie room slash music room slash dog area slash. We have a lot of slashes in this room. This is definitely our multi purpose space we try we try to get a lot of uh bang for our buck in this space but as you can see with the uh uh, uh overwhelming amount of stuff we are are kind of failing miserably at making it all work what do you what do you think about this space Karen? um this space really for me when i play games in here it's really crammed i can barely move my chair yeah like this space we're actually standing in right now we used to have a couch in this space um, but the couch was broken. So we held on to it for as long as we could. It only had like two functioning legs in the front. So finally, just the other day, we decided to let it go. But now we have this empty space. And as you see with the cookies, we're trying to fill this space. And that's, that's an issue I have. I always try to fill empty spaces because I feel that's what spaces are for. So I, I know with you trying to game in here, that's not, not convenient. Especially, uh... Wait, so I like to hear Just say it. You're saying it. Okay, yeah. Uh, especially with the internet problem in here for some reason. We have a actually have an Ethernet cable connecting from this room all the way to the actual router because the internet is that bad in here. Well, I don't think internet has anything to do with organizing. But if you can organize the internet, we'll take that too. Um, let's see. But we definitely have a lot of storage in here. We have space above the washer and dryer. Um, and you know. I know how to hide stuff. I can hide it like that. Open it up like that. Hide it like that. See, you'll never know that this, there's a lot going on. Um, we have storage up there. This used to be our um, heater, water heater. But we got a tankless one is not out, now outside. So, so now we have um, some, some stuff in here. I don't even really know what's being stored in there. Um, oh, I have a problem with trying to uh, get rid of stuff. So I'm looking right now and... Uh, Stuff for an eventual yard sale. You don't gotta. You don't gotta close up. You don't gotta zoom in. Take my word for it. It's full. It's full. Um. So another gaming unit. I would love to be able to combine the gaming units. I don't know why the boy needs gaming systems in two spots. But because one's now Because oh, yeah, oh, I use the PS4. Oh, sorry. Two kids, two se separate things. I guess. Okay. Um. And then we have more storage over here. Now this is a is a is a task because you know our kids are twelve and thirteen, and um, some of these games are from when they were two. Um, but I just haven't had the time nor the energy or the uh, drive to um, go through it. But you know, and and I don't like throwing things away. I like yard sales. I like gifting. I like yard sales even more because you get some money. I like money. Anyway, so yeah, so that's that. Um, what else is in here? As you saw with the Girl Scout cookies, I'm also a Girl Scout leader. So I have a lot of Girl Scout stuff in this storage area. We also run a nonprofit. And the nonprofit is a full functioning nonprofit. So we have nonprofit stuff stored in here for our different activities. We have... The person behind the camera is making a face. I'm trying to figure out why you're making that face. No reason. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so yeah, like for different activities, we do um, like summertime, we have a big community barbecue. So we have some toys and stuff that we use for that. Some hula hoops. Um, I don't even know what's in there. There's a lot of stuff in there. And what else do we have going on here? Um, don't you like my lovely chair? Yes. Very, very vintage. I'm not getting rid of this if you decide to pick us this day. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, Someone that used to stay here with us, they left us this piece, and um, it's a nice piece. I couldn't see putting it on the side of the road. It's a good quality piece. Now, our daughter used to sit here, but why don't you sit here anymore? 
<laughs> so it, it basically serves no function, but it's a good quality piece. So I don't want to get rid of it. But um, it but, doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? It's a table. What the table got to do? You just sit at it and eat. It <laughs> what does that mean? You don't work. Um, so let's see. What else? What else? Um, and then you already saw this storage thing on my bob. And I don't know why there are chairs stacked on top of chairs. Um, but <laughs> and a water bottle on top. We have a lot going on in this room. Again, it's a multi-purpose room. The ultimate dream for this room is to have it as a true family space. The water what? The water is for the dogs. That is true. The water is for the dogs. We don't want our dogs to die of hydration. Dehydration. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, ultimate dream for this room is to have it a functioning multi-purpose space. We would love for it to be a true family room where we can come in here and feel like we are at peace. So they can come in here, play their video games. Maybe we can all come in here and actually be as a family and watch a movie, which we haven't done in forever. My son is saying no, cause you know, he's 13. He don't want to be with his family, but that's too bad. So we're going to love on him anyway. So like a nice family movie entertainment room is nice. But then of course with me, I definitely got to figure out the storage situation. Um, there should not be, you know, outdoor pillows. You don't hear me? Sorry, he's moving his organ. Okay, it's okay. Um, so yes, so we just need help. Please home edit. Um, you can edit anything except for the Girl Scout cookies in my 1970s chair. But other than that, we are open. We need help making this a true family room. And I'm sorry, my son is pointing to his video games. You can do everything but edit his video games. You can't touch that. But you can. It can be organized. It can. What are you looking for? Has walked okay, the dog. We have a dog emergency. Um, so yeah, anything else you want to add about this room, Kayla? Uh, no. I guess that's it. We just need help in this space. But we got one more space. Let's show you. Come on. All right, so this is our office. Keith and I share a space mm -hmm. um so it's you know we're we're in tight quarters right now we have our desks pushed up against the wall i personally don't care for being pushed up against the wall i wish i had something else to look at but spacing wise this is you know well how else would you want it to be if it's not pushed up against the wall no in and in a, in if i have my Ideal space. Ideal space i'd be looking out of a window gotcha. i'd be facing the tv i'd be gotcha. looking out instead of staring at a wall gotcha. um you know got a lot of stuff going on i have a lot of different things going on so everything has a notebook so i got a lot of notebooks a lot of papers a lot of everything <laughs> around here trying to keep myself organized but you know if you can't find the notebooks how good is that organization <laughs> um want to talk about your space Keith? oh then here's my side i mean basically it's the same thing i i just have stuff basically like kind of all over the place i have like my stuff from work and then I have my family oriented stuff so everything is just kind of thrown all around over here so I definitely need help with organizing and straightening up this area and like we mentioned before we also run a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a lot of stuff from that in this space that we try to organize mm -hmm. um, so like this these two cabinets over here which Keith can you back up a little bit which were um, person that used to live here they left these two i kept them because i thought they were cute and i love storage so we have a lot of stuff for our nonprofit here um we do a lot of gifting <laughs> Ooh, if i didn't break it we do a lot of gifting at our event so we put the prizes and giveaways there i create a um make a like a backdrop a photo backdrop at our event so i just put that stuff there while we're not using it um again more storage i have a lot of storage boxes um but the i think the Pies de Lizzy Stones, if that's how you say it, <laughs> that's how is, you say um, it. hmm? I'm pretty sure about that's how you say it. it. We'll, we'll get there. Um, so the Pies de Lizzy Stones is behind this. I will get to that, Kayla. I see you pointing. Uh, so behind this curtain is yet more storage. Yes. So we try we try to camouflage by putting this uh, curtain up. And, um, you know, my daughter likes to make a lot of videos and stuff. So we have that up there. But 
we also have more stuff more stuff but more again stuff. it's stuff that we use for our businesses stuff that we use for our nonprofit. um we have oh, oh and there's a a secret door back there yes this room <laughs> has two doors so we hide that door so we don't really need to use this space so we just keep it covered like if I could have like a giant, ooh, if I could get like a, a giant shelving unit thingy to put everything neatly, that would be ideal. But we also have these items right here, which I'm not quite sure <laughs> what they are for, but we have them. Again, they, so. were, they were free on the side of the road, and uh, I she, thought they were cute. And for our she non likes free items. I love free items. She <laughs> loves free things. But for our nonprofit, we have merchandise that we sell for our nonprofit. So when we have events or when we're promoting, I put the Zawadi Cultural Collective t-shirt on and take photos, and I think they're cute. Why not? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's a bad thing. So, yeah, so we just cover this on up. Um, yeah, so we just need some help with making things neat. And then, oh, we have this thing over here. Hopefully right. you can see because of the light. But we have this. I think it's a, it's a great piece. Um, and unfortunately, this might be the only room for it. So um, uh, we're not getting rid of this. But it takes up a lot of room. It's a day bed. Um, and it's awesome when we used to have somebody staying with us. They used to sleep in this, in this space. Um, and if we ever have company... They, can, they stay, they, they, they well. stay there as well. So this room is another multi-purpose room. It's our office. Oh, office. <laughs> it's office. our office slash guest storage room. slash guest room uh, slash studio for my daughter. So we have a lot going on. We have a small space, but, well, it's not a small, small space, but, you know. You know. Mm -hmm. well, it's relatively small it's, for everything that we have to use it for. Right, because we, we do a lot here um in this space so we try to make every room count. serve count and serve several purposes so hopefully we took enough footage for you and you like what you see and your 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 wheels are turning and you're getting creative <laughs> and you can help us help us out and um we're open we're willing to try different things different things definitely but we need help so please help Help us! <laughs> Help him. Crazy. All right. So we want to tell you a little bit about us and our home. Mm -hmm. So we have been living here how many years? Uh, since 2012. So, so we've been living here for quite a while now. Quite quite a while. Um, basically been raising our children here mm -hmm. in this house. Again, our son is 13 and our daughter is 12. Um, we actually moved here as a downsize. Uh, we were living in a... You okay? Yes, I am. Son, like your chair broke. <laughs> we, we were living in a much bigger home, but right. we decided to downsize and come here. Um, and unfortunately, when we downsized, I did not necessarily downsize all of my stuff. No, well, she didn't downsize much of anything. I honestly. did. Well, I did downsize, but that was 2012. We so she in, downsized, and but got then she it, upsized and again. And then I got it all back. Um, so, but we don't have the space for it. So that's why we're having some uh, organizational uh, struggles here in the Challenges. House. Challenges, yes. Um, so let's see, what does an everyday, what does everyday look like for us? It's, you know, our main focus is our children. Right. We get them, um, you know, get them to this, to school and get them educated and, you know, help them to be better people, get them to their activities, um, all of that good stuff. Um, and we're focused on, on our work. Um, so basically I, I'll go to work. And then um, Shania always has something to do. I can speak for myself. I don't need you to speak for me. But <laughs> speak for you. What you do? What you do? What? Don't worry about what I do. Oh my what gosh. you do? Oh my gosh. But I said, and like I said, I, I'm always going to work. So I, I'm at work most of the time during the day. Um, so sometimes any the evenings depends on what what honestly depends on what my work schedule is like. So that's why you see this house the way it is. Because he says I always got a lot to do, right? And he's always working. So who cleaning the house? Nobody. But um, <laughs> but um, yes. So with, with me, 
I do not have um, the traditional nine to five job. I run a nonprofit that we created um, about five. 2017. He's good with dates. I am not. So we created it in 2017 and our organization is called Zawadi Cultural Collective. What's wrong? No, I said December 17th, 2017. Oh, see, look, he knows the exact exact dates. His brain is better than mine. Um, So yes, we started it December 17th. You said 17th? Yep. December 17th, 2017. Maybe now I can remember. 17, 17. Um, So we created Zawadi Cultural Collective and this nonprofit was created Because we live in a community where there's not a lot of culture and a lot of representation for um, people of color. Mm -hmm. So we felt that as, you know, parents raising children in this community, we wanted our children to feel connected. We wanted our children to know their roots. We wanted our children to know about their culture. So instead of complaining about it, we did something about it. And we created Zawadi Cultural Collective. So with Zawadi Cultural Collective, um, what are some of the things that we do? Well, some of the things that we do, we have a vision board, women's empowerment vision board event that we have, we hold every January. And that's exactly, that's actually the reason why we like um, put Zawadi Cultural Collective in motion mm-hmm. was because we were having these these empowerment events here at my house and they started growing and we were at capacity, so we were like, there is definitely a need for that. Yeah, so we basically we have like probably about maybe about 250 people that come out for the event. We've been doing it for nine years now. Um, it's a pretty fun and uh, pretty community oriented event. Um, it's it's really a good project. It's a very good project. Yeah, so that was the springboard for Zawadi Culture Collective. And from there, so many other things have been birthed. Um, in addition to the vision board, we also do an annual Juneteenth celebration, which is the celebration of the emancipation from slavery. Um, we do this event free to the community. We have free food. We have free giveaways, at lots of activities. We have um, all these community members and community leaders come out and we just celebrate us. And we've been doing that for four four years years now. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of fun. We get a lot of support from local businesses to help us um, put on this event for free for the community. And we get um, a few hundred people that come out for that. Mm -hmm. It's very family oriented and it's a lot of fun. And it's open to all. Yeah, it's like it's like a old school family reunion. If I have to like say it's, it resembles anything at all, because you know it's gonna end with the electric slide or the or the cha cha <laughs> slide or the or the wobble or something something that looks like a family reunion. So that is that that is what we do. So we do the Juneteenth. Um, what else do we do? Well, we actually we started a um, Facebook page that's called Black in the Valley, which is a hub for all things black in the valley and with that we actually started doing a marketplace that we hold quarterly so we hold the marketplace um in march was it march june is it march september September, december December, march March and and june June. and the reason why we do this is because we want to support our local um small black owned businesses so like he said every quarter we do this and we bring out, we charge a small fee because we have to, you know, pay for the facilities. But we bring operating all fees. operating fees. Um, but we bring all these, um, all these small black businesses together in one place, and we invite the community to come out. Again, we have the giveaways. I love a good giveaway. So we give away lots of stuff. We've done, um, we've done school supplies. We did. Uh, toys for Christmas, we gave mm-hmm. those away. Um, Flowers for, we, the, for the wives, for women, no, for women's, for mm-hmm. women's, for Women's History Month. We just gave away um, some bouquets to all, all the women that came to the event. We reached out to a company. We got sports bras donated to the kids. Uh, uh, we 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 just love supporting our community through these different events. And again, as you see in our house, it shows because our house is basically. Zawadi Cultural Center. All yep. things that come from come come into Zawadi come out of this house. Yep. So we just need help with organizing it all because we wanna we don't want to stop. We want to do bigger and better things for our community. So we definitely need space to um to to do 
more. Um, and speaking of more, I almost forgot, like our biggest accomplishment under the umbrella of Zawadi is our Girl Scout troop of 82 black little girls here in the San Fernando Valley. Um, they range from kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade. We, they're called Zawadi Troop 3246. We, um, we have been going strong since our daughter was in kindergarten when I, I formed the troop because I wanted her to be surrounded by people that look like her and could relate to her journey. So we started this troop back then and it has grown to 82 girls. Um, again, with the story, we, to, to take care of 82 girls in the Girl Scout troop, it requires a lot of stuff. So much stuff that I had to, no, I didn't do it. He did it. We had to build a storage unit in the backyard to house all of our Girl Scout stuff, all of our camping stuff, all of our supplies, everything is housed there. But then we have overflow in my house, <laughs> in the hallways, in the byways, every, everywhere. Um, but the, you know, that, that troop is my heart. Um, right now we have a goal. We're trying to get to, um, get to the African American Museum in Washington, D.C. So we're raising money trying to get all 82 girls there. Uh, like I said, we have a lot of support from our community. Um, and even with Zawadi, we're trying to raise money through us to help get all of these girls, all 82 girls, plus their chaperones, to Washington, D.C. and New York in the summer of 2022. Do you want to tell them about the Zawadi uh, lead, Speaking and Leadership? Uh, initiative? You just did. Okay, so we have the Zawadi <laughs> Speaking and Leadership Initiative in which we um, is geared towards um, young youth of color. Um, we're basically, it's basically a speaking and speaking program which we're trying to help them discover their voice and help them to build their speaking and leadership abilities um, through our organization. Yes, so we're, we're going to be doing that. We did a, a pilot project like that last year. So we plan on bringing that back and, and ramping it up and making it bigger and better than before. And along with that, we also have an entrepreneurial program that we are going to be kicking off that will lead into our Juneteenth event where we'll, we're gonna take um, some young kidpreneurs. We're gonna take them from concept to countertop. What yep. was the slogan? Concept, oh, concept. concept to Concept to, to customer. customer. <laughs> she just, he's going to repeat what I said. <laughs> so basically, we're going to have them build their concept. We're going to bring mentors in. We're going to have them work on their marketing, work on their product. And then at our Juneteenth celebration, we are going to have them set up booths and they're going to actually sell their products. Right. We're going to feature them at the Juneteenth celebration. Yes. So we're proud of everything that we do for Zawadi. But again, like, like I said, it takes a toll on our house because I'm so into my nonprofit that I kind of, you know, let it overrun the house. And uh, I want to get better at being organized in my household so that it's not a burden to everyone. Um, but yeah, so if you can help us home edit, we would greatly appreciate it we think it is something that is needed something is nest that is necessary and it's something for the community you'll be helping the community if you help us because if i'm organized that means i can organize more activities <laughs> any closing words Pashel? nope that's good thank you so much thank you we hope to hear from you and fingers crossed <laughs>